somebody told me later, you know, you don't see many girds, you see a few Jersey herds, you see almost no Jersey herds in Ohio anymore. And somebody said to me, you know, you know who milks Guernsey? So they said, who? And he said, people that are too lazy to milk Holsteins and too proud to milk goats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I've used that story many times, and like almost nobody gets it. <laughs> and there are, there are, does anybody know, does anybody know goats here? If you, are, you, are you offended by that story or not? You, right here, are you offended or is that okay? I'm looking at you, the guy with the beard. You put your hand up. It's okay. All right. All right. Um, th thanks. Thank you for you know what 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 you've done. And uh, John McCracken is, 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 has been with my office since my first day in office in the Senate, 2007. And he works on our agriculture issue, agriculture issues. He grew up in a small town in, in south of a little bit east of here in Wilmington, that area. And John. Um, one of the reasons that I think that you, you've honored me with this award is certainly the work John's done, but John's done this work because uh, people like Carol and people like Amelia and uh, people like Dean McElvain have come to him with ideas about what we actually need to do to this every five year farm bill. And you know, the farm bill traditionally is more about agribusiness than it is, than it is family farmers. It's more about about high yield, heavy fertilizer farming, and it is about organic farming. It's just the way our country is, and it's far too much the way Washington is, and it's the way power in our society too often is. And that's but but you have helped you have helped by bringing ideas and information to us. In fact, Dean and John were talking as we were walking down the hall, coming up onto the stage area, about what's happened with uh, organic grain that come, that that foreign entities will sell grain that they claim is organic, although you know they don't have the, you know, the multi-year certification that you all, those of you that are, that are organic, whether you're dairy or grain or produce, they will not have that, that regimen of you know, multi-year uh, approval process that you need to qualify. Um, so that grain will come to American ports, and we really aren't equipped at this point in our country could be, but we're not, to be able to really say if this is this is organic grain. So this organic grain can come into the, the this, this grain that's labeled organic can come into the United States. Um, and then organic dairies can buy it since it's a little bit cheaper and still claim their milk is organic. You can see the way around this. And then it depresses prices overall for those legitimate organic grain farmers. Mm -hmm.